Hello, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the mom tag, which I am super excited about. So before we start, I am in public. So if you guys hear a lot of noise, that's what that is. For those of you who don't know what the mom tag is, it's just gonna be talking about a bunch of questions like favorite mom hacks, most embarrassing moment as a mom, challenging things that you have to face as a mom and things like that. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Um, I got tagged by one of my YouTube friends, Miss Alicia Lynn. Thank you so much for tagging me. I am super stoked to do this. Um, if you guys have not seen her channel, it's super cute. She does a lot of like grocery hauls, healthy recipes, and her family is very like active in nature. So that really inspires me to become more active with my family. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, I will leave the link to her channel down below. First question is favorite mom hack. My favorite mom hack would be like timing stuff. If there's any time where I'm just feeling like unmotivated, if I set a timer, it's like a good way to motivate myself and also my kids. Question number two, part of the day that you love the most. Those of you guys who don't know, I wake up very early in the morning to teach. So um, right when I'm done teaching, as my kids are starting to get up for the day, that's just when we are the most energetic and kind of like the most happy. And so that's my favorite time of day. What part of the day do you like the least? So the part of the day that I like the least would happen to be the evening when um, we're doing our nighttime, nighttime routines, all the cooking and getting everyone in the bath and getting dinner on the table. That can be kind of stressful. So it's my least favorite part of the day. Most embarrassing mom moment. The most embarrassing mom moment to me is all the times where my children demonstrate that they have no filter. So, for example, there was this man who came to my house who had a rather rotund tummy, and my son just went on and on about how he was so excited that this man was expecting babies. He was like, oh my God, my mom is expecting twins too. It's so exciting, I'm so happy for you. And I was just mortified. I was actually really mortified. Another thing that I find kind of embarrassing is when my son invites everyone that he meets over for taco night, number one. I don't even do taco night. And number two, like he will invite a complete stranger that he just met. Like he'll be like, we're friends now. Do you want to come over to taco night on Tuesday? <laughs> so I think it's kind of cute, but it's, it's low key embarrassing. The worst thing someone said to you when you were pregnant. So people were fairly nice to me when I was pregnant. Um, I was a little sensitive when I was carrying my twins because people kept saying I looked kind of small for carrying twins. And you know, I really wanted to have big babies. So I was just like, <gasps> I do not look small, I look normal, I look big. Baby names you didn't agree on. I wanted to name my first son Jacob. What can I say, I'm a Twilight fan, but my husband did not like that name. Do you co-sleep? Yes and no, I love to cuddle, but if I feel like I'm not getting sleep or the babies are not getting sleep, then I kick them out, put them in their own bed. Something you bought but never used. After I had my first son, I bought him a crib and he co-slept with me and he is the child that had the most difficult time getting out of my bed and into his own bed. And so for a long time, I just remember feeling like I wasted my money on that crib. Like it's just sitting there collecting dust because I cannot get him to sleep in it. And he never did, he never slept in it. But luckily his younger brother has used that crib and it turned out not to be an actual waste of money. But at the time I remember feeling like that. Are you a routine mom or go with the float mom? I am definitely a routine mom when I, was a new mom, I was a go with the flow mom, but um, I think it was because I just didn't have the confidence to establish routines and I thought they were more difficult than they really are. But no, as a mom of four, we are definitely a routine family, but we have very flexible routines. And I know now that routines just make your life a lot easier. And what does bedtime look like? So during the school year at 7.30, I'm like deuces. I love you guys, I'll see y'all later. Like I work really hard to make sure that all the baths and are done, everyone is fed. And at 7.30, I turn on the night lights, I turn on the stars for my boys and I drop my girls in the crib and I'm like deuces, I'll see y'all later. What type of labor did you have and what pain relief did you choose? I had a very easy labor with my first son. It, it was just like maybe overnight I labored with him. I had an epidural and it was beautiful. And in fact, I just remember thinking like, what is the big deal about labor and delivery? It's so easy. This, my second son, the labor was pretty fast, but um, my epidural didn't work as I hoped that it would. 
and I was quite painful. <laughs> and I remember being traumatized by that. And then for my last pregnancy, I had my twins and I had a C-section, which I did not like very much. Um, it was more the recovery that was the challenging part for me. I don't know if you guys have ever had a near-death experience. Maybe I'm being dramatic, but at the time I felt like a near-death experience. But I just remember like reevaluating my life and all my priorities because it was just really awful, the recovery from that. I had to take all this medication that literally made me feel like a, a zombie. And so I just wasn't very happy. <laughs> Have you ever been mom shamed? Are you a mom? If you've never been mom shamed, there's literally nothing that you can do that someone won't be able to pick apart and find a problem with it. And when I was a new mom, I used to be very emotional about it, like, oh, oh my God, like she said this and why. But as a mom of four, like sometimes it stings a little bit, but I just don't have time. I don't have energy to really dwell on it like I used to. Number 12, the biggest challenges you face is becoming a mom. It is very difficult when you have to witness your children carry some burden that you can't take for them from them. Sometimes I do wish that I could, you know, just take away all their problems and make things happy for them all the time. But I guess, like, what kind of character would they develop if I was there to take away everything from them? You know, the only thing that I could do is give them guidance and give them healthy mental tools to be able to get through it. But I wish there are some issues that I wish I could do more about. All right, the next, the best advice you've ever been given or biggest advice you give to a new mom, just be flexible and open-minded. Um, I feel like, especially new parents, you, we tend to think that we have this whole thing figured out. But as you go through your journey, you will learn that um, not only do you not have it figured out, but once you think you have something figured out, maybe it works successfully with one child, your next child, it, just doesn't work and you have to get back to the drawing board and figure out something else to do so just be flexible also be flexible with your other mom friends You'll, you'll notice that a lot of people just do things differently than you and that's okay if they love their kids then they are probably doing the best that they can with the circumstances that they have so just give people grace and that will save you a lot of frustration and also give yourself grace um, especially when things are not going to plan and just be prepared to be flexible and adjust as needed for situation and for child. Okay, number 15, who is your mom crush and who do you tag? I wouldn't necessarily call it a mom crush, but two moms that I feel like were very influential in kind of how I run my home today would be number one, how Jen does it. She really showed me the power of routines and getting your home to flow smoothly. And I watched her very consistently. She was one of the first homemaker moms that I subscribed to and watched consistently as a new mom. Also, Clutterbug, um, I think her name is Cassie and she does a lot of like organization videos as well. And she really helped me kind of like get a grip on um, my homemaking skills. And I still have a long way to go, but they definitely inspired me and set the foundation for the things that I do today. And who do you tag? So, um, I want to tag Miss K. Renee, Sarah McGlory, Miss Mommy and Me, Mimi Scarlett, and Kenya Lawrence Jackson. I'd be very interested to hear your answers to these questions if you guys haven't done this tag already. If you have, let me know and I will go find it and watch it. These are all some amazing ladies that I have interacted with on um, YouTube and if you guys have not checked out their channels, you would definitely love their content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!